and gone on to bigger and better things. Jim, you're putting together a bit of a history of the Spotswood Footy Club. Yes, Ian, I've uh, started. It's been something that's uh, interested me for a long time and I think it's worth uh, bringing out the information on a, a junior club that's existed uh, probably since the early 1900s. Little's known about it and uh, we'd like to bring a bit more to the public. This club was formed on the inside in 1927 but we've got evidence of uh, Spotswood winning premierships before that and uh, in our club rooms there there's a photo up right up in the corner in our club rooms there at 1899 and that photo was uh, that was produced from the AGM uh, the bottle works down there that was hanging in their, uh, their boardroom down there that's where we got it from and I've got an uncle in there his name was uh, uh, McNillage and there's a street in Spotswood named after McNillage that was named after his family of course and uh, there's another side, uh, 1907, we had a pr uh, premiership side, 1907, there's also a photo, 1913. Uh, that, was a, that amazed us because we, we thought this was a soccer side, but until we looked closely, there was a, only 16 men aside in those days when they played in 1913. We were counting the players up in the photo, there was 16 there, and we thought, oh, this has got to be a, a soccer team. But we found out, looking closely, that there's a, not a round ball there, it's an oval ball. So it had to be a, a football team. So we can claim that as a Spotswood football uh, club that played in 1913. You've probably got one of the best honour boards of all time with the players that have gone on to play more senior football than they have at the local level with Spotswood. Yes, Ian, there's over 160 players up there and we believe it's probably one of the best honour boards in Australia. And on the uh, top of the list is Albie Morrison. I understand he's in the uh, Bulldogs um, team of the century. Just below him is Jock Cordner, a little known by a lot of people, but also uh, one of North Melbourne's top players. Charlie Sutton, the uh, Footscray uh, Premiership captain and coach. Um, John Herriot, interstate player with South Melbourne. Uh, personal friend of mine, more of my, uh, my vintage. There's a number of Liston Trophy winners. There's Fred Goldsmith, who uh, Brown Row medal winner, so we're, we're quite proud of the past history. I coached about 50 of those names up there. Coach and boys that have been up there. I, I coached for about 14 years under 16, and I've seen them grow from under 16 and to, you know, graduate to or Williamstown or a few of the league clubs. Yeah. So uh, starting off with um, Morrison. Yeah, Morrison. Uh, well, that's why I didn't see Elby play, but uh, Elby was probably one of the. He'd have the pedigree there as a player. Well, he even coached Footscray for two, two years in the 30s. And he went to um, Preston in the association and coached them. And he came back and played with Footscray again in the early 40s. So he, had, he played 224 games with Footscray. So Donnie McKenzie, I like to think, was one of my favourites. Donnie played uh, under 63 with three and he finished up playing with Footscray and then he, then he coached Sunshine to a premiership. Puddin Graham Chalmers. Another under 16 player, played nearly 80 games under 16 with three. Uh, he started off in 1957 actually. Uh, he, as I said, he played 80 games under 16. Quite a big feat in those days. Starting off at 12 years of age at an under 16 comp. There's Richard Luke played with uh, South Melbourne. Bobby Kingston, another one who played, started off in uh, under 16 with three in uh, 1957. He was a big boy. Uh, yeah, a big boy, yeah. He finished up playing nearly 90 games with South, and he went to South Australia and played against Victoria in, 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 a, in a state game. Yeah. yeah, we're pretty really proud of that, that board. Just recently, we just discovered that one of our old icons, Park Krieger, we just found out that Park played uh, football with Spotswood in 1923 to 1933, and he captained and coached their first premiership in 1933 in the sub-districts. We just found out he played a game with Butchgrave in 1926, and there we are, we're looking for a space to put him on our, our honour board. So, so I don't know how we're going to fit him in, but he's got to go there. Some of the more recent ones? Uh... Yeah, well, the recent ones are uh, Basher Hurley at Essendon and, uh, and uh, Callum Ward. Well, I didn't have much to do with those, those lads. They were here. I've just been watching them as a spectator these days. But Callum Ward's very interesting. His grandfather's the great Bill Gunn that played football for South Melbourne. Billy Gunn didn't play, did he? No, he yeah. didn't play, Bill. No, but that was interesting. Fred Goldsmith played here, and Fred Goldsmith brought him down to Spotswood, and they had such a good side, Bill said, oh, I don't think I'll get a game with Spotswood. They'd won three premierships, and uh, a chap called Ray Smith, who was a star player at Williamstown, he took Bill to Seddon. 
and uh, of course Bill grew a foot in a in 12 months, and and the rest was sort of history. He was a star player. Uh, Bill and Ted Whitten tied for best and the fairest and under 18 in the Butchway District League together, and they re they remain uh, mates right through their football careers. Uh, Bill and, and Ted. Tell me a bit about Freddie Goldsmith. Oh, Fred. Yeah, Fred was. Uh, he came here when he was 15 years of age. He actually kicked 29 goals, five points in a in a game in the 50s here at Spotswood. And he went over the South Melbourne as a forward, but they thought he might have been a bit slow as a forward. And uh, he finished up fullback, uh, winning the uh, Brownlow Medal in 1955. So that wasn't a fair effort. I tell people my first memory of Spotswood is standing outside the. Uh then picket fence and uh, Fred Goldsmith was next to me and he's kicking what they now call a banana kick through the goals but from outside the fence, so quite, uh, quite interesting. Together with him at that time was uh, Bill Williams, one of uh, South Melbourne's top rovers. Interesting is uh, Norm Chisholm. See Norm Chisholm on the board there? Yeah. Well Norm played in the spots with 1938 side, went to Williamstown and played in Williamstown's 1939 Premiership side. He won their best and fairest in 1940. In that year, the great Ron Todd kicked 99 goals, and Soapy Valens kicked 111 goals that year. And there's Norm winning the best and fairest the same year of these two champions, what they'd done. Good effort with, with Norm. Norm came back to Spotswood in 1950 and coached their uh, A grade to a grand final. And the two Della boys? Two Della boys, yeah, well, Eddie Della, he's the father of. Uh, and Bill Della, the, you know, the, the, one of the leading umpires. Uh, Roy Della was his uncle. Roy, Roy uh, didn't play many league games at, at North Melbourne, but he had the distinction of playing in the state football for North. You played under 16 footy here? Yes. And uh, it was a good environment for kids at that time? Oh, yeah, they're a fantastic club, Spotswood. They went through undefeated, uh, the under 16s in that year. And uh, a couple of players went on and played league football out of that under 16 side. In fact, Bob Kingston played league football the next year. So it was a pretty strong club even well back then? Oh yeah, yeah Spotswood uh, were a very, very strong junior club uh, before that. That's why we come to play here actually, growing up in Williamstown. But my father had played here and we wanted to play for Spotswood because of the strength of the club. And uh, when you walked in the rooms, what was the first thing that stuck out to you? Well there were two things that I noticed uh, that day. It was the honour board behind us on the wall where my father's name was um, uh, painted third or fourth on the list. And the other one was another sign that said the man in white was always right. So I guess that uh, if anybody's watching it has information with regard to the Spotswood oh, Footy Club, certainly. you'd be interested. Certainly, especially from the early days and uh, the 20s, the 30s, or some of the uh, legendary people in those days. We'd, we'd love to get some photos, we'd copy them, return them, and I envisage a database and a slideshow and perhaps a booklet in the future. Great stuff, Benny, and plenty of champions there. Yeah, but what about Roy Pocone? He's the best champ. He's got it all up there in his head, and he just picks it off one after another, all that information, and he's dead right each and every time. I reckon uh, dips my lid for him.